Howdy folks, Swifty here. Today I'm going to do the one hour challenge. I was challenged by Randy over with Metal Detecting with Randy. Um, go check out his videos as well. I'll put a link in the description down below to his channel. Anyhow, I'm out here in this yard. The house was built in 1936. And um, they found some stuff on the surface. Some silver coins already. So I'm going to get out here and bust it out and see what I can make happen. Get you on the first hole, yo. Holy cow, look at the size of that stump in this root system. Wow. I think this is where I'm going to start. All right, get you on the first hole. All right, so the first hole <laughs> is... Uh, Looks like a rusty nail. Whoops, where'd it go? Anyhow, I'm gonna recheck this hole, see if there's anything that's in it. Oh, I hear something there. All right, let me dig that up and see what it is. All right, I got a pretty good signal right here for my second target. Let's dig it up and see what it is. Alrighty, target number two. It's a coin. Uh, I think it's a. I think it's a wheat penny. I see one cent right there. All right, off to the next. And this is why you always check your holes. So, in the same hole was another wheat penny. So that's. To me, I think that's considered a coin spill. Maybe there's more in here. We'll see. All right, off to the next. All righty, well, I rechecked the hole again and pulled out a third wheat penny. That's definitely a coin spill. Let's see if there's something else in here. Well, let's see. Let's get that out of the way. So there's something else right there. Let's see what it is. And we have another penny. Looks like a memorial. All right, off to the next. Damn it. My next target was a fence post. Damn, that gave off a good signal. All righty. Well, the next one is a bottle cap. For fat tire beer from New Belgium Brewing Company in Fort Collins, um, Colorado. One of my favorite beers. Alrighty, off to the next. Well, this is a really nice surprise. My next target is a key. Alright, off to the next one. And right next to that key was a shotgun shell head stamp. See at the next hole. All right, so the next target has led to a VO liquor bottle. I think the VO was that vodka. Anyhow, off to the next. All righty, next target is a crusty zincan. Anyhow. Off to the next. Well, the next target looks like a piece of crumpled up aluminum. See at the next hole. All right, next target looks like another. I don't know, it's kind of crusty. Might be a wheat penny. No, I think it's a dime. Yep, all right. Well, my next hole turns out to be a Memorial Penny. I think I have about five minutes left and we'll see if we can get one more target in. Well, my last target for the hunt is a dime, but there seems to be something else in that hole. I'm going to dig in there and see what it is. Alrighty, folks. Well, this is the last target of the day. I've dug 10 wheat pennies and some clad change. Wasn't getting much for signals until this one. 
right here, St. Christopher. And uh, if you look right there, it says Sterling. So that made my day right there. And speaking of that, I'm going to call it a day. I want to thank my buddy James for letting me come out here on his property and look around. I had a lot of fun. Anyhow, I am going to catch you on the next video. Y'all have a blessed day. Okay, everybody. Well, wow. What a great day I had metal detecting. Had a new permission. Doing the one hour challenge. And, um... On this clip, there's a little bit more that I found. Um, I'll just do a wrap-up on it. But um, I had a really good day after that first hour. I was struggling with some, um, I don't know, technical difficulties. I don't know if anybody experiences um, having your cell phone in your pocket while running the Equinox 800 um, affects things or not. But... Once I put my phone in my car, then it ran a little bit better, I thought. Anyhow, maybe it's just me. Um, so, I had a really good day, and how I got this permission was, by chance, I ran into a friend of mine I hadn't seen in several years, um, just the other day, and he invited me out to his house, and, um, and that's where I went today. Um... He had found, um, I think it was a mercury dime um, in his garden um, that he had just tilled up and planted. Um, just a small little lot. But anyhow, um, he said, come on out. So I did, and it was awesome. So I'm going to turn you around here and uh, show you what I found. So, um, right here is most of the stuff that I found for the one hour challenge today that I went on. And um, all in all, it's about, I think, $1.64 and change, um, a fat tire, beer top, which I'm going to keep that because that's one of my, I like some fat tire. I first learned about that stuff when I used to go to the Telluride Bluegrass Festival back in the day. Um, anyhow, that was pretty cool stuff. Uh, one of the coolest things about the day is that I dug 10 wheat pennies off this one piece of property. That is definitely a record for me. I have never dug 10 pennies in one day. Let's see if I can get out the light there. Funny how if you can see that. Um, ten wheat pennies. So I'm gonna get those cleaned up, see what dates are on them. Um, but the coolest thing that I found today was at the very end, the very last target. A St. Christopher's Sterling Silver Medallion. How cool is that? That was the very last target of the day. Um, it wasn't in my one hour hunt challenge, but it was definitely at the end of my day where I stayed out a little bit longer, you know, of course. But, um, see, I just had it focused there. You see that mint mark, S. Oh, now, and it out with the photification. S.F. I looked up the maker's mark. Well, actually, someone informed me. And F. S. With the arrow shooting right through it. Stands for Swift. And Fisher. Now, how about that? A little bit of Swift and Fisher for old Swifty. Hmm, that's right. Oh, St. Oh, St. Christopher in the hole.
Man, that was a great day. All right, so now I challenge you to the one hour challenge. So everything that you find in one hour, record it and post a video. And of course, if you find some other stuff along the way afterwards, you know what I'm saying. Go ahead and post that on your video too, man. People like to see that stuff. Um, anyhow, so get out there, start digging. One hour challenge. Get her done. All right. Peace out, y'all.